Let's head to Georgia to meet a rising prospect from a well-known family. The American Civil Rights Movement of the 1950s and 60s was an important time in our country's history. Leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. fought to end discrimination and promote equality. Dr. King's closest friend and strongest supporter was Ralph David Abernathy. He was a key figure throughout the Civil Rights Movement, and his work helped to bring about positive changes like the end of segregation and the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Today, his legacy is carried on by one of the country's top high school football prospects, his grandson, Micah. I believe in my spirit that Micah embodies the same type of spirit of his grandfather. Uh, he's um, very powerful, um, but he's very quiet. If you know Micah of the biblical sense, it is an um, advocate for the poor, and um, that is so well ingrained into what his grandfather's history is. If all of this sounds familiar, that's because we were in Atlanta a few years ago meeting Ralph David Abernathy the fourth. Ralph David, who is now in his senior season at the University of Cincinnati, was a star running back at Atlanta's Westminster School. As Mike has become more serious about football, he's always looked up to his older brother for guidance. He's a leader. That's just one of the things I can say about my older brother. He's, yeah, I just follow in his footsteps, and he, he gives me pointers every now and then about the recruiting, about football, especially about football. I think Ralph David, uh, he paved the way, uh, and Micah is certainly uh, riding down that road, and uh, he is, uh, he's, he's doing it with class and dignity. I'm so proud of him. With many relatives doing great things before him, Micah has still found a way to add to the Abernathy legacy. It begins with his athleticism. He's a two-way star as a running back and defensive back for Greater Atlanta Christian. Mike is pretty special. He really is. I and mean, the first thing is, is, is his speed. I mean, he can run. He's really athletic and can make things happen. And as a junior, he averaged 11 yards a carry as a, a, as a running back. He averaged 70 yards a kick return. Not too many people kick it to him when they did. It was, it was ugly for the, for the other team. Um, it just can make some things happen. Uh, has a great competitive drive on the field. And really wants to compete, wants to win, wants to be, be good. Uh, also, defensive back just just to compete and be physical and do those things and so for us as a football team he really is a game changer and makes a lot of things happen. Key to success is consistency. My dad tells me that every week, every day, every time I go out the house you just consistency is the main key to success and just you gotta carry it through. Micah's outstanding speed has also made him a star on the track. He's a state champion and school record holder in the 400 meters and the 4x400 relay. I guess the thing I would describe Mike as a runner is just, uh, he's so aggressive. Most of his races are over in the first you know, quarter of the race just because he goes out and attacks it. I love track, you just, it's another grind. The practices are not easy. It helps me out with football. Football practices aren't easy either, so they go hand in hand. And uh, track helps me out with football. Football helps me out with track. It's the hard work mentality that you have to have. Mike earned scholarship offers from several top programs, and he is now verbally committed to the Tennessee Volunteers. I think the thing that's going to be uh, his greatest asset, physically, obviously, Micah can run and, and knows how to compete. But I think it's all the things we've talked about. It's his maturity, and it's his desire to be good. And so he's coachable, he's teachable, he wants to be pushed. Micah's future, though, isn't limited to just football. He's an honor roll student, and he hopes to study business in college. When his football days are done, he wants to be involved in sports in some capacity, but he also wants to help young people. I want to be a leader for younger kids and even my peers around me do the right thing and show that I can do the right thing even when nobody's watching. From a football standpoint, he's got a future. <laughs> he could be playing for a while. He's got a lot of tremendous natural talent and again, it's coupled with a desire to be, to be special. And so I think the sky's the limit on, on the field. Um, I think again, off the field, uh, it's gonna depend on his area of interest and, and acumen, but he's, he, he's, got a, he's gonna be a successful uh, young man and grown man, uh, whatever avenue he chooses. After all, football success can come and go, but carrying the Abernathy name with pride is something Micah wants to do forever. You just gotta know where you came from. If you know where you came from and you understand where you came from, you can carry it on your shoulder, on your badge, like it's a badge. It, you know, it can be a cross and a crown. Uh, uh, it can be uh, a big responsibility. And I have tried to instill in our children the importance of carrying that name and that legacy with um, with respect and uh, with discipline. Micah has a special spirit and he reminds me because he's so quiet, he reminds me a lot of his grandfather. Daddy was, uh, he was just, uh, um, I guess what some people would describe as a sweet spirit.
Micah embodies that same thing. 